Hi, it's uh, Brandon Mitchell, and I'm here to uh, show you how you can turn your worship team into a fully digital um, team. Um, no paper. Um, this is going to be using iPads, tablets, um, iPhones, Android phones, anything really. Um, you can even use a Chromebook. First thing we're going to start out on is over here. Um, everything I talk about, there will be links down in the description um, so you know where to find everything. Um, I'll lay everything out uh, Watch as you're watching this video. Maybe watch it on your phone, do it on your computer so you can follow along. Um, the couple things you're going to need, um, an iPad, Android tablet, or a 360 flip Chromebook. Uh, Kindles don't work um, for this process. You can use your phone. I wouldn't recommend it. It's going to be hard to see. Um, so I, I would recommend getting an uh, iPad or a tablet. Like I said, an Apple iPad or Android tablet. Kindles don't work. Um, and if you have a 360 degree flip Chromebook that will also work because you can just flip it around and you can still download apps on Chromebooks so that will work um, if you don't have an iPad just look online ask around Facebook marketplace stuff like that um, used iPads a couple hundred bucks used tablets a couple hundred bucks you can get a new you know Samsung tablet for a couple hundred you know 200 200 300 dollars so um, it's well worth it and you'll definitely get your use out of it um, but if you're not gonna really use it for anything else I would just um, you know find a used tablet or iPad somewhere the next thing you're going to need is a foot pedal um, this is so when you're looking at your music on your phone your Chromebook your tablet your iPad um, it will advance to the next page while you're playing. Um, this is especially um, needed for people who are playing an instrument, whether it be guitar, bass, piano. Um, you can't stop and scroll. If you're a vocalist, it's kind of like up to you which way you want to go, whether or not you want to swipe or um, buy a pedal. The one I use is on Amazon. That's what it looks like. It's a little cube. It's literally this big. I don't have it with me right now, but um, it connects via Bluetooth, so it will connect to any device that has Bluetooth, and it um will switch the pages for you. Sometimes it is a little finicky. Sometimes you have to disconnect it or reconnect it. Um, you know, depending on the day. Uh, this is the cheapest one I found that works. So twenty eight dollars, and it works well once you get it connect sometimes it's it won't always connect right away or you have to switch the switches a little bit but um it works once it's connected it works and it works really well um there's not really any lag or anything so it will respond when you need it to when it really counts the next few things you're going to need are a worship extreme account and i would recommend you having a praise tools account um and praise tools isn't necessarily um, absolutely needed but it will make your life a lot easier if you decide to just go the route of doing praise tools so I'll show you what I mean by everything the program that we're using is worship extreme um, this is gonna be kinda like if you've heard of planning center um, they have their own app called down here planning um, by WE and it's it's just really really simple and easy um, and it makes your entire worship team digital you don't have to keep printing out papers every single week um, it's a lot of wasted paper and it's just kind of like a pain to filter through all of it it's very organized and uh, very easy to use so you're gonna go to worshipextreme.com this will also be in the description down below um, 
and this was this is what I get. Let me just move this out of the way there. So um, that's what I would get, and <coughs> one second. All right. So you have your account tab over here. Um, you'll probably have to make an account when you get there. That's the first thing you got to do is make an account. Um, then there's products, media, pricing, support. This can, you can pay for this if you want like the Pro or the Pro Plus. The free is really all you need. Um, the Pro Plus is really just more of um, if this is going to be like used throughout your church a lot. And it's mainly for presenter where this stuff is needed to pay for. Um, you can choose to use presenter. I don't use presenter um, because I I started using a different program before for presenting my lyrics on the screen. And all my songs are already in there. So when I switch to WE, Worship Extreme, for my chords, um, it didn't make sense to write all my songs and present here again so I just stick with the program I use you don't need to pay for this this is really just it, it doesn't do much to pay for it um, so it's free um, media these are a bunch of backgrounds that you can use for um, if you use presenter uh, support obviously just support and then products so the three um, apps or web browser based programs that come with your Worship Extreme account are Presenter, Planning, and Music Stand. Music Stand is an iOS app and an Android app. It is super nice to use. Um, I will show some video of it later on. I'm going to select screen record off my iPad that I'll show you like how it looks. Um, presenter, we'll just click on that. It is basically going to be an advanced version of PowerPoint. Um, it's not needed if your church already uses a different presenter. You don't need this. This just helps if you have song select. And this doesn't, this tutorial, you don't need song select. So it is 100% free. You don't need a song select account at all. So it doesn't really make sense to use Presenter unless you have a song select account. If you have a song select account, go ahead and use Presenter because it will import all the songs for you into Presenter and Presenter's free. So that's up to you. Um, if you don't have a song select, just keep following my tutorial and you'll be perfectly good. The next app we have is called Planning. So I'm going to go over to my Planning app. So from Present or Worship Extreme, if you want to go to Presenter, you just go to Accounts and you choose your account. So I'm going to create a new team for the sake of this video. I'm just going to name it my test account. So I click on the test and then your three apps show up over here. This is all the stuff if you want to buy like a Bible um, for a presenter and stuff like that. Um, obviously not needed if you already use a different presenter, you know, whatever. Um, so I'm going to open planning and you click launch planning and then this will come up. Um, and then I have a couple accounts here or a couple teams. so. You're going to just click on the team that you just made in your Worship Extreme. Click on Test. And this is what you're going to see. Um, your name here will be based on what you made your Worship Extreme account based off. And this is what you get when you first open your presenter. Once you create your account using Worship Extreme, you're really not going to use that website anymore. There's not much to it really than making your account and getting from one to the other. I just have planning bookmarked as you can see up here. Um, up there. 
planning is what you're going to be using the most. Um, it's how you're going to create songs. It's how you're going to make set lists and um, add people. So the first thing we're going to do is add a song. So if you go down to songs, and there's no library song so, um, results. So you see there's an error there. It's because I don't have a song select account connected. So it's not going to have any of those. And I haven't created a song yet. So I'm going to click create song. I'm going to name the song. The name I'm going to just be putting in here today is Spirit Lead Me. Um, you can put the author and the copyright, the CCLI, key, whatever. Um, I normally just leave it. Even the key, I don't really care about really. So um, if you want to, you can time it out. Put your uh, the length of the song. So if you want to, like, if you only have so long in a service to do your set, stuff like that. Media, if you need to manage media, you can add a YouTube video, Apple Music, Spotio. Spotify and audio files. Um, I am going to be adding an attachment. But what do I not have yet? I don't have an attachment. So I need to create the PDF for my song. So what you're going to be doing is whatever the song that you're going to be making this PDF for, you're just going to look up the song and then put chords after it. And you will generally get an ultimate guitar tab um uh, ultimate guitar chord sheet towards the top sometimes there will be some others um i generally go to ultimate guitar if i can't find one in ultimate guitar then i go to other places so click on that and then you come to this site so this is the song that i wanted these this is the whole song there so what you can do and this is a step where you can either skip this next step with praise tools or um, you can follow the step with praise tools I would recommend to go with praise tools but if you don't you just click print down here and then you get all this stuff on here if you don't need the chords you can click off chords if you don't need the meta info like the tuning you can turn that off too and then you get this you can change the columns if you want double columns or oops double columns or single columns um paper size whatever um, it's generally all gonna be the same um don't click download pdf because it's not gonna work because you have to have pro access to download the PDF. But Ultimate Guitar is kind of dumb anyway. So you can just click print and you can save it as a PDF. So that's the one step you can do. And you just click save and you save it onto your computer. What I like to do is I copy just the entire song. Even if I don't want some part of it or, you know, I'm going to be skipping this verse or whatever, I'm going to just copy all of it. You're going to click copy plain text when you do, whether it's control C or your right click copy. Then you're going to go to praise tools. So I'm already logged in here. But if you go to praise tools.com, you um, just create an account. It is 100% free. And I use this before I even went digital. This is what I would print all of my music off of, so it all looks very uniform, and everything is saved. So every single song that I've ever done on paper, as well as um, digitally, is on here. So all these. You can print off your, um, you know, whatever, people who still use paper use this. I use this when I use paper. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over to songs, you're going to click create song, then you just do the title, spirit lead me. You can do all that stuff if you want. I don't ever do it. 
you're just going to go down here to the chords box click on it and do your paste command control V or right click paste and you have the whole thing so at this point you can edit anything you want if I don't want this part I can you know drag over and delete it whatever um, it is yours to deal with at this point um, you can add resources at the bottom um, you know videos if it's a new song you want your team to learn it whatever then you're just going to click create song and it will say song successfully created and then you'll get this this is just kind of a preview so you're going to want to go over here to the right and click print slash download pdf and personally sometimes you get these overlaps here i'm not sure why that happens but um personally this looks a lot better to me than what you get out of ultimate guitar and everything is saved so if you ever you know everything's saved it's not like ultimate guitar you have to keep looking for the chords and print it's it's saved in your account now so now you just would print it save and then i'll just save this on my desktop so now that we have the pdf file that we want we'll go back to presenter and we'll add our attachment and we'll want the spirit lead me attachment and click open it'll upload and um, if you go up to the top right click save come on It's all good now. Um, I think there's an issue with the other um, team. So I just went over to my Autumn Alliance team and added it in here, which I wanted it in here anyway. So successfully changed your, saved your changes. So if you were to click on that PDF, it'll open and that's what you're gonna see. Um, this paper, it won't look exactly like that on the iPad. I'll show you what that will look like in a little bit um, next I'm going to show you so that's how you add songs next I'm going to show you how you add people so this is my worship team um, Madeline Madeline Jesse Jesse those were just accidents um, I put their first name twice instead of their last name so to add a person you go down to the people tab and you click add person put their first name in there um, Bob Joe put their first name last name and you put your e their email um, their email should be the same email that they create their own account with so when they download the music stand app on their phone tablet whatever they have to create an account they should create an account with the same email that they give you as the leader to add them so you put their email in there the same email that they used to create their own account with on the music stand app and I'll show you how to do that later and then you want to add them roles so you click edit roles generally it's going to be used for the worship team maybe you have your tech team your pastor your speaker uh, your scripture you know whatever on here you can add all them too i really only use it for worship team so you've got bob is our vocalist he plays the piano and the keys and sometimes the bass guitar so that's what's all going to show up under his own account under his own um, account in the music stand um, those are his roles in this group Bob himself can be added to however many teams um, he's in maybe he plays for one church and he plays for another church on you know Saturdays or you know whatever um, 
can be put in as many teams as you see like up here I've got let me say but I've got these three different teams so that's how you would add a person the main thing you have to remember is whatever email they give you to add them to your team it's the same email they need to create their own account on music Sam and that is absolutely necessary so this is our create services tab so down here you can see the next two services um, well this is actually just one service so what I do is you probably know this um, if you're watching this as a worship leader but when you put a capo on your guitar um, it's going to change the chords for your piano player and uh, the notes that your bass player will play um, music theory <laughs> but uh, so you're gonna it's gonna be two different ta um, guitar sh chord sheets for the guitar player and the rest of the people so I have the guitar one and that's got the capo numbers on it and I've got the instrument one and it's got all the instrument tabs in it the song we're doing um, spirit lead me does not have a capo so we only need the one tab because everyone's going to be playing the same chords without the capo so to add a service we're going to click create service under service type um, you can change your service types under the service types tab here you can add all these different service types maybe you have like a Saturday night or a Sunday evening um, I generally do youth group um, for mine so that's what I choose so service type youth group under the service name um, I normally put either guitar or instrument so this is you know, I'll just put guitar because I'm going to create two different services for the same date and then just put a date on there so whenever this service is planned for you know maybe this is the yeah, the 30th what even is today? today is the 28th so the 12th then you put the time our youth group is at 5pm and you can add any notes in there that you want. I don't generally put notes in there. And then now the service is created. So you can click add items. And this is where you're going to put your songs in for your service. I don't put a name in because when you select the song. Let's see if I can find it here. The search doesn't always work. So I just... Normally I pass it and I'll put there it is, spare lead me. And then when I click save, it'll save right on and then I'll put the name right on there for you. So perfect. So now I'm gonna show you what music sign will look like on the computer. Pretending to the web version. This is basically what you're going to see on your iPad. Obviously, it's going to look a little different because the screen's not going to be the same ratio, you know, whatever. But um, this is generally what you're going to see. I'll show you some video of it. I'll put some up on the screen right now. But you got these tabs over here for all the different songs. So you can create set lists just using the Music Sand app. I just really prefer the, um, the way you can do it on... Um, planning rather than the music stand app I think it's just a lot easier and um, just laid out there for you to uh, be able to set up rather than doing it on a small little tablet do it on your computer if you don't have a computer then you can absolutely create um, set list on the music stand app I'll start that screen recording right now so I can show you. Alright, 
So this is what you see when you open music stand. Um, you've got your services, upcoming services, and then you see the new tab. You can click new and then just make a service from there. So that's how you can do that. And you can obviously add songs from within there. Um, maybe you're on stage and you're like, oh, I forgot to add a song. You can add it in there because whatever songs you added to planning center or to planning is going to be in the system for music stand because it's all connected. So it's all going to be in there and it will recognize everything. So I think that's going to be pretty much it. You got music stand you've got planning you know how to create PDFs for music stand um, you know how to add people and then for the pedals really you just add the pedal on there you know 30 bucks or $28 um, whether or not your church can buy it for you or you buy it yourself um, then it's kind of you can use this personally maybe you play in another band outside of church or whatever create your own group whatever put all your music in there digitally too. use your pedal you know outside of church um, this can be really widely used even outside of church I know it is technically made for churches but um easily can be used for many other things it's just a really really cool um, program and it's free. There is other ones out there that do this and even more, but it's so expensive. You have to pay for it. Whether you're like me and you're a kid doing a worship team or, you know, your church just doesn't have a ton of money. This is something that you can do for very cheap. You know, buy a cheap tablet, buy a cheap pedal, you know, and the program's free for you to use. And it's very user friendly and you can always check back to this video if you ever have any questions on how to use anything again all the links will be in the description for praise tools worship extreme planning um, and the pedal I'll also link down below my preferred iPad stand uh, that's an iPad that just clamps right onto your iPad and it clamps onto your mic stand so you can see it right there in front of you um, when you're if you're a singer if you're not a singer I would just um, just use a normal music stand and just set it on your music stand there that's pretty much it it's pretty easy to do um, I hope this really helped I know when I was first um, learning how to do this I had to learn it all on myself all on myself because there wasn't really anything out there on how to use this program so I hope this really helps how to use worship extreme to just make your life easier, no more paper. Hopefully, it'll be a lot cleaner for you. Your stage will be clean of paper and clutter. Again, if you have any other questions, feel free to put them down in the comments or reach out to me on my Instagram and uh, Facebook. So I do have both of those. Should be like Brain Mitchell Music something. Those links will also be down in the description along with all of my music gear that I use to create all of my other videos including this mic, this mic stand, this pop filter, webcam, monitor, mouse, keyboard, everything will be down there. So if you ever want to build your own music studio like me, you can do it for a cheap amount of money, save money, this is what this is all about, and start making music. See you guys next time.